Hi, Hello. how are you guys doing today? Great, how are you? Hi, I'm Paige Jones with News by Muse, and first off, I want to start off by saying congratulations. And also, um, what were you guys' emotions just from taking this TV show now to the big screens and becoming a movie? Were there any, like, surreal feelings about this? Could you repeat that? Sorry. Are there any uh, were there any surreal feelings about taking this TV show to the big screens and becoming a movie? And now your character is going to be on I mean, you know, I didn't really think think that much about it being a movie because from our point of view it's kind of the same but um, but as we get closer and, and you see like you actually in, you know see a movie and then there's a trailer right before the movie it's like yeah it's incredibly surreal yeah it's a good point Dan I think the surreal times are starting now like the process of making it was uh, similar to our jobs but now that it's like there's some buzz and I posters don't know. and it's Post true like yeah. I went to see a movie and then heard my voice in a theater and it was very surreal being like, oh my God, this is happening. It's yeah. coming out now it's coming out in a few months. It had always been pushed like, oh, it'll be in a year and now it's like happening. What, so it's what very exciting. What movie were you seeing? Uh, I saw The Batman. And? Uh, I enjoyed it. Huh. Are there any elements of you guys' characters that's gonna be different from the TV shows or anything that's gonna be added to the movie at all? I think all three of the kids are gonna go on a journey um, that the audience is is gonna enjoy. It's, it's not. It's gonna explore more than the TV shows had a chance to do. I mean, I feel like they do grow by the end of the movie, but it's hard to really say how and why without giving away everything. We are prevented contractually from sharing too many details. I think I already did, though. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying is true, to be honest. <laughs> We I'm just, very bad at press. I used to be good at it, but... This is the first time we've spoken COVID. in public in a yeah, few years. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything that you expect the audience to take away or want, want them to think about after the movie is over when they're on their drive home? Mm. Well, I would love for them to think that that was good and I had so much fun and I'm so glad I paid my money to watch that. Yeah, I don't want them to think I wish I didn't see that. Yeah. Pay my money. Yes. I want them to leave and be like, for a moment I escaped into a warm fantasy world. And now I'm back in my regular also wonderful life. Yes, yes. So yeah, some something like that. And that then maybe to great. think about uh, just how to make the world better. Maybe start a nonprofit. Maybe see this movie and be like, you know what? I can help people. They can do something smaller, you know, like yeah. get home from watching the movie and think about someone you like and give them a call and, and just startle say, them. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm so glad we're friends. I love you so much. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your yeah. time, and um, I look forward to seeing the movie. Yeah, thank thanks, you. Pete. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on News by Muse.